Um, well, firstly, you know, obviously, I think it's important, important all these things. You can get massively frustrated with yourself, but, you know, I've got to give credit to the Ospreys. I thought they looked a lot more comfortable with the whole evening. Um, and fair play to them, and because of that, they came out deserving winners. And I think that's the disappointing for me. I don't know if we ever really settled down and really ever looked comfortable. Um, and we have done uh, so far for most of this Premiership season. So I think, I think that probably sums it up better than anything else. Um, I think at the start, um, we actually created quite a, quite a lot of opportunities and, and had quite a fair bit of the game and, and didn't really, I don't think we ever really realised that we had that much of the game and that it, there was points there for the taking. Um, and then as the game ticked on, you know, we, we kind of got comfortable towards the end of the, um, end of the first half and then we kind of came out in the second half and never really got a grip of the game at all. You know, we, we made repeat errors and uh, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot after scoring uh, on a few occasions and just got a bit uncharacteristically ragged. Um, and, and I'm a little frustrated that our forwards probably didn't take a bigger, a bigger grip on the game in the second half because the scoreboard and the clock wasn't against us for quite a long time, not really, but we, we started to play like it was. And I think uh, that's, that's a little frustrating for me that we, we kind of didn't really stick to our guns and got, uh, and got knocked out of our stride a little too, too easily for my liking. There were. I mean, I think, I think when we're in a review, when you look at two or three of them, I think you'll struggle to see, struggle to see where a couple of them came from. But I think, as you say, I think that's just a symptom of, as I say, getting knocked off track a little bit, and all of a sudden you think you've got to solve things on your own, and um, that's what that's what happens. And uh, the penalty count did go against us, but I think I think we were architects of our, our own downfall there. And I, I can't have too many complaints because. In the review, I think when we ask a couple of boys about a couple of their decisions, I think I think they'll, act, they'll just admit they just reacted badly under in, in the scenario out there tonight, and and that's that's a little frustrating. But again, you know these are these are things you've got to go through as a team, and these are things you've got to bite your tongue as a coach and, and make sure you learn from them and you move forward. You know, it's it's tough. I, I'd I'd hoped we were a little bit a little bit further on than that, but um, you know we we looked a little. We looked a little, a little immature at times today. Do you have any players back for next week, Thomas? Or? Oh yeah, I mean we, we potentially have got guys back. But the, the team we brought here was a strong side. I, you know, I've got no complaints. I th you know, no complaints about it tonight. We, I suppose, with the better team and they've won, and that, that's fair enough. You will take that on the chin. Uh, we have to go away, and we'll just work with our, with our players individually and just um, just see what they think of the game. I think a lot of them will be frustrated. You know, um, often you, often you find that kind of performance comes from. Guys trying a little bit too hard, and uh, as I say, trying to trying to trying to solve something that doesn't need solving a lot of the time. I think that's probably what you'll find when you when we review a lot of our individual mistakes. Well, it's the same for both sides. Obviously, that it's been a, a broken weekend yes. for obvious reasons. You know, the minute sides quite right. has, has it been a, a distraction? Has it knocked people around a little bit because it yeah, has been quite close to rugby because of the cancellation? I, in some ways. In some ways, I would like to say we'd had we'd had some distractions and and whatever, but I, I honestly can't say that. You know, we had a long preparation. We've gone from a Saturday to a Sunday. We should have been we should have been well prepared. We should have been nice and comfortable with things. Um, I think we I think we were I think we were well prepared. I think we were we were ready for today's game. Um, in a lot of ways, other than in the top six inches, I think, because you know there's there's no doubt. It, it, the truth is, we've got players out there, and they've obviously built today's game up into being an important game, which it is. It's the next opportunity to step up uh, to a competition beyond the Premiership. Um, I'd hoped that we'd be a little more comfortable with that step up than I think we've appeared tonight. We didn't, we didn't really feel comfortable, didn't really look comfortable and happy out there today and, and really bursting with energy and enjoyment to really get stuck into a game. We looked we a little bit nervy and edgy early on and then that, that became kind of some poor, raggedy, ill-disciplined play later. And, well, that's a little bit of a frustration, but that's the truth, and that's what we've got to work with. Yeah, I mean, I, to be fair, like I said, I think they looked they looked a lot more comfortable out in tonight's game than we did, and I think that's the best way of summing them up. That's the best compliment I can give them. You know, I think um, you know the score the scoreboard was tight for a long time. I, I would have hoped that that would have created a bit of negative pressure on the Ospreys because you know home game in the Heine in the Champions Cup, and you've got to get some points, haven't you, if you want to get something out of it. But when the when it was tight, I think they still stuck stuck to their game plan a little better than we did. Um, and as I say, you know, we were the team making mistakes in the wrong area of the pitch, and they capitalised on that. Okay.